<laughs> not much needs to be said about this. It's just good. Doesn't really influence the band's music at this point in time. But who knows, maybe in the future we'll be uh, playing Speed Thrash. the title and everything and on this record there was just so many different influences I guess that we were pulling from that um, there wasn't like the we didn't all have like the common end goal in mind or whatever. Let's see what we got here. Well I mean this isn't my favorite yes record but this is a pretty a pretty awesome package. Close to the edge. The band totally geeked out on you know on all this prog stuff um, you know a couple years ago we were doing Planet Device. On this one I think everyone kind of went off into headphone land and um, I think everyone brought some very specific different things in. I think this was kind of my main influence, Steely Dan. I was listening to quite a bit of Steely Dan actually. Uh, I was just listening to Def Leppard Hysteria on the way here. Listen to a lot of Fleetwood Mac. There's a Barbra Streisand record in here. Bass playing wise, I actually was really influenced by this band called Turnarwin, which is this band from, I believe, Mali. They're this nomadic tribe. Um, that they kind of play like this desert funk rock. I went on this kind of this funk R&B 70s kick. The Beatles are essentially my favorite band, but since I was really young, I got really into uh, like the native tongue stuff, like Tropical Quest, De La Soul, uh, and even before some of that, Jungle Brothers and Stetsasonic and, and stuff like that. Of course, lots of reggae. It's pretty much all I listen to is box set after box set of Trojan records. I don't know why I was drawn so much to it or whatever, but I think it also had to do with the fact that it was I was go, I was listening to a lot of straight edge hardcore, and there were you know it was undertow, unbroken, un whatever. So I was like, oh, unwound. It must be another hardcore band. Dr. Dre is like my favorite beat maker. Um, there's just something about him that is I don't know what it is. He's really amazing and has a great way of being able to make you want to dance without having barely anything going on. Just that his placements of beats have always really fascinated me. All the rest of this stuff is just junk. <laughs> just garbage. Except for this Jim Croce record. Mm -hmm. 